Okay. Oh yeah, just a quick one, uh, a very fast one. It's very unfortunate that the generals, uh, Salva Kiir and uh, Riek Machar, they've lost control of their troops. Uh, just as uh, Weda has said, uh, Salva Kiir has been someone who was socialized in the bush. He had been a rebel almost all his life and he was a deputy to the late Garang for so many years. And as a wise man once said, some people work to attain power, some people are born in power, some people have power thrust on them. Salva Kiir is one individual who had power thrust on him, and it has really taken him a long time for him to actually uh, evolve from that uh, rebel guerrilla leader into a national leader in a democratic state. The issue between Salva Kiir and Rek Machar is more ethnic. You have the Dinka majority on Salva Kiir's side, and you have the Nuer, who also have some sizable numbers. It is unfortunate that hardly even before the ink dries on the paper on the agreement which they made, there's this flare up. So I think the international community really need to handle them with very tough gloves. Uh, because they've taken uh, the international uh, people for a ride for a very long time. Mm -hmm. So people really need to act tough to ensure that uh, there are institutions created, there's a respect to life and property in South Sudan. Okay. Yes. Well, that's South Sudan, and uh, we are hoping and keeping our eyes on that to see how that will pan out. Remember, right here on KTN News, we certainly keep you posted on news that is happening as it is happening.